I'm the Director of Airport Planning and my team is responsible for the long-term planning of the infrastructure at Toronto Pearson. And by long-term, I mean 20 to 30 years. We have to look way out there. Well, it's a classic optimization exercise. All parts of the system have to be in balance. If there's a bottleneck in any one of them, we're going to have trouble. First, we start with the air side, because after all, planes need to land and take off. And then we move into the terminals and make sure we've got all the infrastructure and systems in place to process passengers and their baggage. We also have to think about the cargo facilities outside of the terminals, moving the goods around. Now on the ground side, we're really excited about UP Express opening air in the spring. That's going to provide better and more reliable transit connections to the airport. But that's not enough. We need to make sure there are more opportunities and choices for our passengers and our employees to get to and from Toronto Pearson. Well, it's fun. We get our crystal ball out, we work with our forecasting colleagues, and we try to imagine what the future is going to look like. What kinds of people are going to come, how many of them are going to be connecting, what kinds of planes they're arriving in, wide body, narrow body. From that, we put together, we put together actually a future flight schedule, and we, have, we assess that against the facilities that we have, make sure we have capacity for growth. For example, origin and destination passengers, those who start and stop their trip in Toronto, have needs such as parking and ground transportation access, including transit. For those passengers who are connecting through Toronto, they don't need any of the ground side infrastructure, but what they do need are quick and efficient border processing facilities, as well as uh, amenities while they're, while they're staying with us. We work very closely with our adjacent municipalities and their planning teams. It's important that together we ensure that the land uses around the airport are compatible with the airport, both from a perspective of the impact on our neighbours, from aircraft noise as an example, but also to make sure that aircraft can navigate safely as they're flying to and from Toronto Pearson. It's our scale. Toronto Pearson is the largest airport in Canada. Last year we experienced growth of, over, of almost 7% compared to 2013. We processed 38.5 million passengers of which 12 million were connecting through Toronto Pearson. It's an exciting time to be a planner at Toronto Pearson. We take our role as the provider of global connectivity very seriously. We want to give the region, the passengers and the country the airport that it deserves. We want to be the best airport in the world.